new club seats and a new turf field. These are just a few of the upgrades that Bengals fans are going to notice at Paycor Stadium this season. Yeah, more renovations could be on the way as well. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Adelaide is live outside the stadium tonight with what you need to know uh, and what kind of changes are we looking at here, Madeline? Well, Craig, Tanya, one of the biggest ones you'll see is right out front, a bigger plaza area. You can see construction underway. It aims to expand this access point to allow more room for people to walk between the roads over here and the stadium this way. This is one of just 18 high priority projects that are set to be complete for this upcoming season. But Craig, Tanya, I mean, this is still just a drop in the bucket compared to a much larger renovation project that's just around the corner. We're making the improvements in the stadium that need to be made to keep the stadium relevant structurally. Millions of dollars of upgrades coming to Paycor Stadium this season. Things that are, are specific to the stadium itself that, again, are necessary for operation of the stadium. Like new club seats, turf, and upgraded technology and concession equipment. Plus, more access from the plaza to the street. Essentially tripling the size of, of that access. Both the Bengals and Hamilton County have put up $39 million each for 1800 high priority projects, but there is a lot more work around the corner. One design firm found the stadium will need nearly $500 million in basic repairs. We have to be in tune with what the taxpayers want to do. So how will they split those costs? That's the big question as the team and county head to the table to negotiate a new lease before the current one expires in 2026. I wish we uh, we're further along at this point, but we are where we are. I think all of us, and I think including the Bengals, would like to get that done sooner than later. So we know, we, you know so we have a certain future. Commission President Alicia Reese wants to shift some of the burden to the NFL. We need over $100 million from the NFL to put in skin in the game to try to take some of that burden off of the taxpayers. It can't be 25, it can't be 50 million. It needs to be 100 plus million dollars like they're doing in the other markets. Now, as for those 18 smaller projects here at the stadium, the county is working up against a deadline. The next major event here at Pecor Stadium will be the Cincinnati Music Festival, and that is slated just later this summer around the corner at the end of July. For now, reporting live at the banks, Madeline Adelie, WCPO 9 News. All right, Madeline.